Hey guys, sorry for the terrible lighting. I just want to let you know that I am starting this book. I'm going to be doing like a little vloggy thing. It's like 10 o'clock at night, so that's why the lighting is terrible. But I'm like, this is the perfect time to start my book. So I'm going to start reading this. And oh my god, guys, I am so nervous to read this, but I'm also like really excited. So wish me luck. I am hopefully going to finish this by the time my book arrives. I already pre-ordered the second one, assuming that I like this one. So it should be good. I'm excited. I'm going to talk about how I annotate. The way I annotate is not like a set system. I'm going to start like reading the book and then I'm going to pick out like what each color means as I go. So uh, I will update you guys when I put my first tab in and kind of talk about each color as I put them in here. So yeah, I am excited to do this and you guys can come along with my journey as I read House of Earth and Blood. In case you guys are wondering, I'll make sure to link my uh, stuff that I use to annotate. I got these super cute, uh, kind of like really like, what's it called? Like muted colors for my tabs. And then I got these cute vintage highlighters and then some sticky notes to write on. And that's pretty much what I use. And I'll let you guys know when I put my first tab in. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. So my first tab, I did a purple color. And I'm gonna use the purple color as a kind of like plot point world building color. I might, I'm gonna write, um, I always make a little note in like one of the pages in the beginning about what it means. So I'm gonna write, I'm gonna say world building and then I'll add plot point if I wanna do both in one later on. All that clicking sounds is my husband. He's playing his games in the background. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna stop now. I'm only on chapter two, but I am exhausted. It's pretty much like, it's almost 11 o'clock here. So I'm going to go to bed and then I will continue reading this tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Thursday now and I'm going to read more of The House of Earth and Blood. I'm currently making mac and cheese and cinnamon rolls for me and my daughter. So we'll be snacking on that. And then I stopped last night at chapter two. Some other exciting news is I got my Illumina Crate box in, which is, this is like my very, very first book box. So I'm super excited for that. I'm going to be doing like an unhaul video and hear my daughter play in the background. Make sure you all uh, look out for that. I'll be posting that sometime next week. Hey guys, I want to give you a book update. It's now Saturday, so I've been reading for like a couple days. And I have a little bit more tabs in. I'm on page 230. It's going to take me forever. That's okay. I have um, been tabbing, so I've been doing uh, Purple's World Building. This light blue is Funny Banter. Romance is like this mauve color. I don't know. And then Line is like this tan color. And Line means it's like, oh, I like the line or whatever. And then this blue is sad. I am really enjoying it, guys. I love this book so much. I wish I could read more of it, but like mom life, you know, like I can only read so much. My daughter's sleeping right now for a nap, which is why I am reading and not doing cleaning. <laughs> That's okay. In chapter 21 next, I was like debating, I'm like, should this be a spoiler free or spoiler video? 
I mean, I don't know. I just love this so much. It's was so, I can't even say anything without giving anything away. I went in this book so blind. I didn't even read the back. If I had read the back, maybe I could have like predicted the beginning a little better. But because I didn't read the back, I was just like so caught off guard by the very beginning of this book. And oh my god, oh, it's so good. I just love it so much. I uh, shared something on Twitter saying that I was reading this book. And some guy uh, commented back on my tweet and saying like, wait till you get to chapter 80. And I was like, wait, what's happening in chapter 80? So now that's like all I'm thinking back in the back of my head is I'm going to be heartbroken when I get to that. So... It is what it is, guys. I'm just anticipating my heart being broken. Sarah J. Mass kicked it out of the park with this. I'm really hoping I can finish it before um, my pre-order gets here. So let's see how I do. But loving it, guys. It's so, so good. Bryce is such a cool character. I absolutely love her. Hunt is mm, gorgeous. I just love all the side characters. And, like, the political intrigue and... The world building is so intense guys like there's so much going on it makes it like really interesting because we don't only have like Bryce Bryce's story going on you know and like her trying to solve what's going on but we also have like all these like maneuvers happening from these high up power political people and it's really really good and I think it's just really interesting so far and I will update you guys later one thing I know is that say to you guys it's, it's been a while since I've read a book like this thick and my hand is so tired I think the last book I read this big was the Zodiac Academy the Heartless Sky the last one but I didn't read that in like physical I read it on my Kindle you know so my arms are tired guys like I'm tired this this is a hefty book to hold all day and read <laughs> Hey guys, I am almost done with this book. I have been on an emotional roller coaster. Update, I've read a lot. I um, stayed up until 1.30 a.m. last night. Instant regrets this morning. My daughter decided to wake up extra early. Normally she wakes up at 8, 8.30 and she woke up at like 6 a.m. Yes, I am on my second cup of coffee already. I am exhausted. I tried really, really hard to finish the book last night, but I was like, I'm going to die in the morning. I have to go to bed. So I'm on page 759. It is so freaking good, guys. And I have all these beautiful tabs. Update. I didn't add any more, I don't think, since the last time I talked. I still just have the world building, plot, funny banter, romance, like my favorite line, and then like sad. There's a lot. There's a lot of feelings going on, and I am really excited to finish this. I only have a few pages left, so... I stopped at like a really pivotal moment. I have a really bad feeling, guys. Like a really bad feeling. I'm hoping everything's okay. But wish me luck. I'm terrified. Oh my god. Wait, what is this moment? What is this moment? A plot point? What? <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what color was it? Purple, purple, purple. the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there be no wars
Oh my goodness. I cannot. I cannot even, guys. Oh my goodness. This was so freaking good. I need to know what's going to happen. But yes, read this book. It was beautiful. I absolutely loved it. Make sure you go follow me at Cassie's Books on Instagram and TikTok. I'll be posting probably like a review on there um, sometime this week. Absolutely loved it, guys. I am so excited for next week when I get my pre-order in. Ah, I ordered it from Amazon, so I think it said it's going to be here on the 15th. So super pumped to read that. And I don't know how big that book is. I probably should look that up because this book, book, it's intimidating. And my arms are tired, guys. They're tired. Anyways. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys uh, later this week.